Hi guys, this is the Kais Ray CW Tricky and Sean Hoff out of Germany. Welcome to my small shack. Uh, today I would like to present how a Willink 2000 network works. Just trying to send a message to a ham radio operator who is located in the United States and using a mailbox using a RMS, a radio message server which is located on the east coast of uh, Canada Victor Echo 1 Yankee Sulu and uh, here my equipment over here is uh, a small QRP rig, uh, the FP817 currently tuned to a uh, 400 meter band 7.095 MHz and uh, USB digital and this is a SES PTC2 uh, upgraded to a Pactor 3 or the Pactor 3 license and the license module. And uh, running here on uh, on my PC a uh, software called RMS Express, which is uh, used uh, for sending and receiving mails uh, via the Winlink 2000 system, which is uh, um, developed by volunteers from the Amateur Radio Safety Foundation, RSFI. And uh, we're going to send this message, which I've uh, wrote uh, over here, to um, uh, to Steve, KB9, Papua Victor Hotel. And I'm now going to connect the VA1YZ. I've selected VA1YZ from the channel selection. This channel selection works uh, with a propagation uh, program uh, called uh, WOACAP uh, ITSF uh, ATS uh, HFBC, which is uh, uh, used uh, for propagation path uh, for uh, propagating uh, the path of which uh, will uh, with the connection will have on the on HF for the VA one way set station on uh, 40 meters. Uh, it shows a uh, 100% uh, path reliability estimate. And the estimate for the quality is uh, 41%. Uh, so I'm um, clicking on that, uh, double click on that frequency uh, in that uh, channel selection list, and my width will be tuned uh, to uh, the uh, dial frequency, and the center frequency is uh, plus 1.5 kilohertz. And I will try to connect uh, right now. So it's uh, Calling their set receive uh, robust connect VE1Y set and uh, is uh, currently sending a uh, repeated connection requests on that frequency. So it's now connected in Pactor 2 and it leveled up to Pactor 3. Unchecked and we are now connected. It says uh, station uh, using RMS 3 mode. This is a host application, the server application, their most current version. And I have uh, 1439 minutes remaining. This is the uh, amount of minutes for one day. They said uh, there are no pending incoming messages, but I have an outgoing message. So no incoming messages, but their message I have uh, composed will be sent to their armies. Uh, in the next seconds. Um, they said we are connected to the CMS in Halifax. There are five um, CMS servers uh, located on different continents uh, to be redundant in the case of uh, internet or um, power outage. And this uh, CMS, which uh, we one by set is currently connected to, is located in Halifax. And there are four others. So one is in Perth, in Australia, in uh, Wien, in uh, Austria, German, in uh, Austria. And we got one in Brentwood and in Santiago. And currently sending the message using uh, 1400 bytes per second. And now uh, decrease the data transfer speed, the, uh, the data level, to 200 bytes per second. And this is uh, their uh, level. Sending the message 
and it's uh, really fast using the factor 3 protocol here on Fortimeter. And I'm using only 5 watts, so this is a QRP rig, the Yaesu FTI 27. And I'm using only 5 watts, only 5 watts QRP. This is the maximum output of uh, this rig. And the antenna is a 40 meter, approximately 35 meter long uh, ANFET wire, which is uh, on average uh, 7 meters above ground level and 141 meters uh, about sea level here in the central part of Germany in the city of uh, Frankfurt on the river mine that's uh, my QTH so still learning uh, this message uh, the message size size is uh, 516 bytes sorry 600, 672 bytes and there's a compressed size is 516 this is uh, compressed using uh, um, different compression methods to um, minimize the size of their message uh, for sending of HF. So, finish sending the message and disconnecting. This is the disconnecting command, and we are now disconnected from the V1Y set station. Okay, guys, uh, thanks for watching. And yeah, there are maybe some other interesting applications here running on my PC. This is a uh, PC Ale. This is automatic link establishment uh, uh, developed for military use. Uh, we are also using it here in the amateur radio sector. This is a selective calling protocol, uh, also uh, used for estimating uh, uh, propagation path. Uh, here tuned for fixed channels on uh, each amateur radio band. There are fixed channels which are scanned by this program automatically. It's currently stop the scanning process and uh, this is used for selective calling and can be also used for sending uh, emails of HF and there we have another program it's uh, called RFSM8000 uh, also sound card, uh, program, uh, sound card protocol uh, and this uh, program uh, was developed by some Russian, uh, uh, Russian experts Russian uh, um, HF communication experts and this is uh, used uh, to uh, of our file transfer protocol and also HTTP protocol via HF using only a sound card and HF uh, SSP rig. So let's see what do we have uh, over here on the bottom. This is a Winmo GNC. This is a sound card protocol uh, equivalent to the Pactor protocol we have used uh, uh, right now to send the message uh, to Canada. And this is a uh, very cheap alternative for using uh, the very expensive uh, PTC. The PTC is uh, very expensive and the upgrade of the Pector 3 lessons uh, uh, needs uh, some uh, some more bucks. So this is a very cheap solution using the Winmo protocol, using this sound card TNC. You only need a uh, HF rig like the FT817 over here or, or another one and, uh, and a sound card interface. Uh, my one is uh, self-made, just uh, RJ45 uh, uh, Western uh, black, and this is soldered to a three uh, decimal five millimeter uh, um, cable, which is connected to my PC uh, for sending, and another one for receiving uh, the signals, and uh, using uh, these signals with this uh, sound card TNC. And the terminal for the sound card CNC is over here. This is a packet client. Um, I'm using a special bridge application. Bridge application is called BBQ32. This uh, bridge application uh, bridge this uh, Winmore CNC, which is normally used within uh, the RMS Express program I've uh, showed before, uh, to the airmail uh, packet client. This uh, is called packet client because this packet client is normally, normally used for um, sending and receiving uh, messages over packet radio 9k6 or 1k2 on VHF or UHF frequencies. But by simulating uh, this uh, packet client that there's uh, a TNC in KISS mode connected um, by using this BBQ32 console program 
uh, it's possible to connect uh, the uh, Winmo TNC via TCP IP on a localhost uh, IP port over here. They said the Winmo host is uh, on the on the local on the local loop IP, and on the port 8505 connect to this host application, and they were able to uh, uh, send and receive also messages without using any kind of expensive hardware TNC like this. Uh, to two controller over here. So we are now going uh, to uh, tune uh, the antenna. I'm using here a manual antenna tuner over here um, to 80 meters in order to connect uh, uh, a station uh, peer to peer in Winmore. So I've tuned uh, my antenna for 80 meters. It's still on the 7095 and I will go to three decimal five nine six three decimal five nine six this is the dial frequency and i will go for usb because i connect this sound card interface via the microphone uh, check over here on the side and the wax is enabled with the most and um, with the lowest uh, possible uh, wax delay uh, below 100 milliseconds it's currently going on RTTY transmission. I think this is the W1AW station uh, with the ARRL uh, newsletter. And uh, we will try now to connect only using 5 watts and uh, maybe we will make it through to their uh, DL0NOT. This is a headquarters station uh, for emergency communications here in Germany in the federal state of Hessen. So it's set busy. So we'll. Uh, Turn the squelch on to delete the busy uh, de detector indication to make a free channel. The channel is clear, and we'll go. We're going now on to connect uh, this uh, by pressing the green uh, connection button over here. So we got a response uh, from the station. They said the using the most robust and the lowest uh, level is uh, two carrier four FSK, and receiving currently forward error correction data. And now leveling up to their um, uh, QRM protocol, uh, the QRM modulation. Um, Transmitting some acknowledged uh, frames, so set ACK, which then for acknowledgement. And uh, it was a very fast uh, data put through, just uh, get information about the station over there. This is DL0 NOT, this is a uh, tactical auxiliary call sign, this is emergency communication uh, section F76. The program which is used uh, at the L0 NOT site is uh, Armas Express, like I showed before for connecting and pack tour, uh, the most current uh, version. And this is a program we are using over here, the ML program. And uh, we've got no message, no incoming pending messages, and no outgoing messages. The link is closed, closed for now. Okay, you guys, thanks uh, for watching. And 7 uh, 3, this is the Kai 3 CW Jacob in Germany.